high fiber, yummy food, we are feeding, that fiber feeds the good bacteria. We eat it with our food. And the green smoothie is a raw food that's going to have good bacteria on it. It's got high fiber. It has pineapple in it. This particular recipe has pineapple in it, which is, uh, it has, pineapple has bromelain, which is a proteolytic enzyme that helps to improve digestion. It also has apple juice in it, organic apple juice, which has malic acid in it that helps to soften uh, any stones, kidney stones or, or bile stones, uh, gallstones, and soften up our soft tissue. And it has lemon juice in it, which helps to stimulate digestion. So this is an excellent recipe for rekindling your digestive fire and getting your gut flora really good. So if you're feeling a little low or you're just not right or your your digestion is poor, this is a good thing to have over, you know, like maybe even daily for a couple of weeks and you'll start to notice everything picking back up. So let, let hold that thought. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to grab my Vitamix. <laughs> There was a comment that that smoothie was made. It was delicious and hit the spot. Yay, it does hit the spot. It's so good. I think this is kind of in the way right now because I want you all to see what I'm up to. I'm gonna get another hang tight guys. Will you recommend this smoothie occasionally if people don't regularly drink juices? It's, it's absolutely okay to drink this green smoothie occasionally and daily. Uh, Ayurvedically, it's better to have raw food in the summertime. It's more cooling. Uh, in the wintertime, it's better to have cooked food. But if your digestion is strong and your constitution likes to be cooled down, it's a good thing to have just pretty much any time. All right, so, so I wanna share my foolproof way to pick a pineapple. Uh, you can smell it, you can smell the pineapple, but it always works. You go to the inside leaf, one of the inside leaves, and give it a little bit of a tug. And if it comes out with a little bit of resistance, but not too much, it's ripe. And if, if you have to pull on it, it's not ripe. And if it falls out, it's too ripe. So people are intimidated by pineapples because they think it's really hard to cut. This is how I do it. So I just cut the ends off, slice the sides. <coughs> Try to keep as much of the flesh intact. It's okay if you grab a little, keep a little fiber on it. In fact, when I'm using my pineapple for a smoothie, I even leave the core in. But you don't have to. To core it, cut it down the middle, lay it on, lay it on its flat belly, cut it again. And then set it on its side and you just cut the core out. And you've got a ready to eat pineapple. And this, this one is juicy and delicious looking. I haven't tasted it yet, of course. I'm just going to rough chop it because a lot of it's going to go into a smoothie today. So as far as smoothies go, you can put whatever you want in them. I really love this recipe for all of the medicinal qualities and the refreshing combination. <coughs> 
So we're going to do a cup of, let me just get all the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to do a cup of apple juice. You can use apples, but I use organic apple juice because it's often, where I live, it's often very difficult to find organic apples. And when you do, they're usually cost prohibitive. You know, they cost a couple bucks a piece. And so I just buy organic apple juice because um, apples are typically sprayed with some pretty toxic stuff. And uh, it's just better to have organic. So I'm going to put approximately a cup of apple juice in there, approximately a cup of pineapple. A splash of lemon juice. Again, citrus, lemons and limes are typically sprayed with a pretty heinous pesticide. And, and there's a good reason for it. California's citrus crop almost got completely wiped out um, by a, a pest. And so to preserve their citrus, they, they spray them. But again, finding organic lemons, difficult where I live. And so I buy organic lemon juice, and I keep that in my fridge, and I use a lot of it. So I'm just going to put a splash in it to give it a little acid, a little, you know, zip. Put this over here. And the recipe calls for kale, but the, rest, the grocery store didn't happen to have any. So I'm going to substitute it for spinach and arugula. And so a couple cups of that. I can see right now I'm going to need a little more liquid. So I'm going to just add a little water. OK, here we go. Okay, looks delicious, right? And I have to taste this. It's been a while since I had a green smoothie. It's a perfect thing to pour into a quart jar and just take it with you to work, so, or wherever you might be going. If you're going out for a hike and you want something refreshing, it's just awesome. That is so good.